Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Strayst here who's recently got into Striker as a part of his campus placements and is here to share his interview experience with us. So Striker is also a super dream company in VIT which means its salary is greater than 10 lakhs. Um, so let's just look at the eligibility criteria. Only computer science and ECM branches were eligible with a CGPA or percentage of 60% or 6 CGPA in 10th, 12th as well as in college with no standing arrears. Now just let's go and talk to him and, and listen to his experience. Hi Shreyas, welcome to my channel. Uh, Hi Shreyas. Yeah. Firstly, congratulations on your placement. Thank you. So would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, so my name is Shreyas and I'm a fourth year student in Gaiti Chennai, currently studying computer science and engineering. And recently I got, got placed in Striker Corporation and I'm, uh, I've joined as an intern for six months here and then I'll go for full time. So, yeah. Okay. So that's great. Uh, okay. So, uh, now you can tell us about your hiring process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Yeah. So, firstly, uh, should I tell the eligibility, eligibility criteria? Yeah. Like, yeah, sure. It was for CSE, IT and ECM branches and uh, I think six CGPA were, uh, was required uh, in your VTech curriculum okay. and for 10th and 12th also like 60% and 60 GPA was required mm. and no standing arrears of course okay. and for the process like on day 1 there was PPT and mm. the next day we, have, uh, we were required to give the test it was an online test of 90 minutes as usual mm. and it consisted of like several MCQs like around 30 to 40 MCQs were there mm. but the main difference among other companies and the MCQs asked by the Striker Corporation were like it uh, focused more on like cross domain MCQs like they were MCQs surely on uh, DBMS, SQL, operating mm. system and world language but uh, uh, including them there were questions on your uh, blockchain, ML, AI, IoT these things also like five five questions on each of them okay. and of course there were like two uh, coding questions also one was easy and second was uh, medium level so okay this was on round one and round two around 100 uh, students were shortlisted for the interviews technical round and in my uh, technical interview uh, they asked me like basically there was uh, they uh, they were asking basically from the resume hmm. and uh, what they uh, I had in my resume and they picked a uh, project part of my resume and went uh, deep dive into it okay like how, uh, how I approach the solution mm -hmm. what, uh, what solution I gave and everything related to that also uh, some questions were from DBMS and mm. one or two from SQL okay and in the same day by the evening I also got a call from HR and mm. yeah it was quite chill he asked me like simple questions only like how was the interview what I learned from the interview okay uh, and ask some experience based questions like uh, what I did in the past and everything yeah Okay. So this was a three-day process. Hmm. So first there was te was a test. Then there was one technical round, right? Yeah, one technical round. Then okay. HR round. That's it. Yeah. Okay. 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 So that's great. In the technical round, did they ask you any coding questions or? Uh, no, no. Like? They were like only te uh, testing the approach, like how I approached solutions of my projects okay. and okay. what I did in my internship and these things. Okay. Okay, um, that's great. And in the first round, the coding, what would you uh, say the level of the questions were? Like easy, medium or hard? How would you classify it? There were two questions, as I said, and one was easy and one was medium. Okay. okay. And MCQs were quite tough. I okay. Okay. Yeah. So they were from, as you said, different, different... Uh, different domains. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's great. Um, thank you for sharing your experience. And do you have any suggestions for our juniors who want to get into Striker? Yeah, firstly, I would like to say like for any company, basically, you mm. should uh, have strong fundamentals in object-oriented programming, mm. uh, any one preferred language mm. and uh, DBMS and SQL also, like you can try SQL uh, practicing from uh, HackerRank. Okay. Like, there is a 50-60 question, uh, question bank in S uh, SQL on HackerRank mm. and you can complete it and get a certificate also. Okay. Like it, uh, it helped me a lot in okay. my okay. Uh, placement process. Mm. And, uh, uh, considering striker, what striker needs in a in an online test, as I said, uh, if you have uh, built projects on ML or mm. IoT, then you can easily uh, go through the whole MCQs. And you should be yes. making the projects on your own, obviously, right? Yeah, 
because they are asking serious questions on that yeah, yeah. so it was totally application based okay 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 uh, that's great thank you again for sharing your experience and thank you thank you